Hey guys, it's Trivi here and today I'm gonna be doing my first Q&A video and I'll be answering your questions you asked me on my social media. So before I'm gonna start, if you haven't seen my previous release, which is called Fire In My Logs, go to the description and you'll find a link to my music channel and also a link to Spotify. And can you imagine, I almost reached 50K of streams on Spotify in a bit more than two weeks. It's, it's amazing, I've never had that, I'm super happy. So if you haven't seen it yet, go and see it now or maybe later after this video. And also, if you would like to support me as an artist, you can go and check on my Patreon, where I have my exclusive feed for my patrons only. It means you're gonna get everything much sooner than others and also some very exclusive things no one will ever see in life. Okay, let's start. Why is the pain not ending? Okay, my answer is no pain, no gain. Question number two, and this one, it is a bit tough. I think it's, it's worse than the previous one. The question is, what is your biggest fear? This is tough, my biggest fear. I think my biggest fear in life is the fear of losing loved ones. Yeah, that's my biggest fear. And I, I remember when I was a kid, I used to always imagine the day when my parents will die. I know it's, it's, it sounds weird and creepy, but I remember those nights when I was in my bed and I was imagining a funeral of my parents and I was crying. So I think that's my biggest fear. Question number three. Your ideal duet partner and collaborator, apart from Mark Ronson, whom you just fancy, <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> okay, um, not Mark Ronson. Um, hmm. I've always dreamt about singing on one stage with Robert Plant, but those dreams are kind of gone, I think. Yeah, I mean, apart from Mark Ronson, I don't see anyone else. <laughs> I'm gonna skip producers, so my ideal partner would be maybe Florence and the Machine or um, maybe Lady Gaga? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we would find a common language. Question number four. Would you ever record in Polish? I don't say no because I thought about it and if I ever have a chance to maybe record with someone in Polish, I, w I would do, like, I would, I would do. Uh, I would do that, yeah, definitely, yes. How do you write songs? I'm gonna do uh, a video about writing a song, but I can tell you quickly how do I do that. So basically my process is, I usually drink a beer. <laughs> I usually start from uh, taking my keyboard and finding some chords. And then when I have chords, I usually try some bass line and some percussion samples. So I build like a structure or like a small part of the song. And then I, I try to come up with lyrics and then I build structure by structure. So yeah, basically I start from music and then I write lyrics. It happened to me once that I wrote lyrics without the music. It was just basically two verses and then I didn't know what to do with them, but I knew they're so good. So I left them in my notebook. And then one day I came up with a new idea for the music part. And I was like, yeah, those lyrics are gonna match. So I took those two verses and I wrote the rest of the song. And it's gonna be one of my next songs I'm gonna release. When did you start playing musical instruments? I started when I was a teenager, when I was, I think, 11 or 10 years old. And I remember my brother was playing a guitar. And so I asked him, can you teach me something? And he showed me a few chords and then I started learning on my own. <laughs> That's a good one. How tall are you? <laughs> I am pretty tall. I'm 5'11", so it's 179 centimeters. I would even say 180 centimeters. And I remember when I was a teenager, I was suffering a lot because of that, because everyone was smaller than me. 
But now I feel like it's my huge advantage to be tall, so I just love it. Are you planning to release any EP or long play soon? I am planning to release limited edition EP, hopefully this year, but I don't want to make any promises because it all depends on the money. I want to do it properly and long play not very soon because it requires a lot of hard work and promotion sources which i don't have at the moment so i don't want to write the whole album and then put it to waste basically because i don't have money to promote it uh, properly so i really want to release the full long play in the future but i want to be signed to do that your favorite holiday spot it's tenerife it's a small place called El Medano and my first time in El Medano was in 2017 and I just fell in love with this place. It's so magical and I know in the future I'm gonna buy a house there because this is the place where I would like to chill and write my songs so it would be good to you know stay in London and then whenever I have to write something and I have time to do that I'm flying to Tenerife, I have my own house there and I don't think about anything else than just writing and chilling. What physical activity do you enjoy doing? I really like dancing, yeah, that's the best one. So I'm not the best dancer in the world, but I just love it. It, it makes me happy, but I also like running, I also like swimming. I, I like moving a lot, basically, I love moving. If your personality is an animal, what animal are you? My boyfriend always says that I'm a cat because I'm really individual and I don't like being touched for too long. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I can agree with him. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty much a cat. What other talents apart from musical do you have? I do acting. I don't know if I am talented, but yeah, this is kind of a talent, I would say. I can also do some stuff in Photoshop. I can cook. Yeah, that's my that's my talent. I, I think I cook pretty well. Yeah, I'm a good cook. Okay, that's it for today. There's no more questions, but if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in comment section. I would be very happy to do this kind of video in the future again. And uh, yeah, go and check on my music, subscribe to my vlog channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.